Good evening, everyone. My name is Rudy Ramirez. Welcome to my podcast. Today's podcast is called The History of Nintendo, everyone's favorite video game company since 1989. This is where I will be talking about Nintendo's famous and classic games that they have created back in the day, and not to mention their vintage consoles as well. Now then, let's begin. Episode 1 Let's go! Now we all know that Nintendo was known for creating the best video games for all of us to enjoy. Nintendo was founded in the year of 1989. That was back in the day when technology wasn't that advanced. Nintendo's old classic games have given people so much joy in the world, including myself, and they have been getting better and better throughout the years. The one game that started it all, that has made a massive impact, was one of my personal favorite games, Super Mario Bros. Super Mario was a real Nintendo classic. The old 8-bit graphics, the classic music, it was such a treat. And this game is 41 years old. Pretty surprising if I do say so myself. Super Mario Bros was about a plumber named Mario who goes on an adventure trying to save a princess while going through a series of stages, going through pipes, stomping on Goombas and whatnot, and battling against a big old turtle named Bowser. Ever since Super Mario Bros made a big hit on the world, Nintendo decided to make another game. And this one is also one of my favorites. It's called The Legend of Zelda. Legend of Zelda was another one of Nintendo's amazing games that was just as successful as Super Mario Bros was. Legend of Zelda is a confusing yet often complex story that weaves together generations of games. In case no one knows, the game Legend of Zelda is mostly about a boy named Link which is the basic plot outline of most Zelda games, but not all of them though. Link is a commoner who is suddenly thrust into a mysterious and magical quest in the kingdom of Hyrule to save the princess Zelda from one evil or another. These two games, Super Mario Bros and Legend of Zelda, were two of the best games that this company has ever come up with. And these two games were made into one little device called the Nintendo Entertainment System, NES for short and this was a very vintage console. Speaking of consoles, let's go move on to the next episode where I will be talking about Nintendo's greatest consoles ever made. Welcome to the second episode, ladies and gentlemen, where this time I will be talking about Nintendo's classic consoles. First up we have is the good old Nintendo Entertainment System, or NES for short. This brilliant device was released in 1983. I remember owning one of these consoles back when I was young and it had over 30, that's right, over 30 Nintendo games installed. And boy, it was so much fun, if I do say so myself. Of all the old NES games, my favorite one was Super Mario Bros. Three things I like about that game is the old 8-bit graphics, the good old gameplay, and the music. Oh boy, the music. The Mario theme song was definitely one of my favorites. Let's take a little listen, shall we? Mmm, mmm, classic. But anyway, enough of this 8-bit talk. Let's move on to the 16-bit era, which brings up our next console, the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, or the SNES for short. This console was Nintendo's follow-up that hit the US in the year of 1991. And this console was the best seller in the 16-bit era, which brought in a wave of more powerful machines that you could ever imagine. But it wasn't just the machines that have gotten powerful, the games have been stepping up their level and getting some upgrades, like Super Mario World for instance. Looking back at its time, the graphics were so stunning to the eye. The music was cooler, the levels were unique, and the controls were a bit more difficult too. Everybody went wild when they played on this console, even myself. These Nintendo consoles were getting stronger and more powerful by the year. Speaking of which, let's forget all about this 16-bit era talk. Allow me to show you something more bigger, more powerful, something a bit more 64. Introducing this final console that I'll be talking about, the one and only Nintendo 64. The Nintendo 64 console was released in 1996 and its lifespan has lasted from 1996 to 2002. My father told me he had one of these consoles when he was young. He would love to play Mario 64, Donkey Kong 64, or GoldenEye 007. That's one of his favorites. Just picturing those nostalgic 3D graphics on that console, boy, that takes me back. It was a sight to behold, I have to say. 
such a brilliant idea to invent such a, an outstanding device. If I That's all the time we have for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for listening to today's podcast, The History of Nintendo. My name is Rudy Ramirez, and I'll catch y'all next time.